is taught. Everybody and welcome back to Tip Tut. Today we're taking a look at this double exposure effect on video. It's actually really, really simple to do, um, so long as you've got the right assets. Uh, I'm using some stock footage that I have downloaded from uh, Red's archives, um, just because it looks good and happened to be right for the um, tutorial. This can be done with pretty much any footage, so long as you've shot it with the intention of making this double exposure effect. So let's just dive right in then. First thing you're gonna need are your two assets. You'll need, first of all, a piece of video that you intend to be um, the frame and a piece of video that you intend to be the content. For mine, I've got this model and I've got some motorbike footage. Now, this works best if your footage has a plain background. Um, it doesn't really matter what color it is because we're going to be removing it anyway. Uh, white is the easiest to deal with, but of course, if you green screen it, that's going to be even better, that sort of thing. Um, but it does need to be a plain, solid color background Either that or you're going to spend a lot of time masking something out, um, which for things like hair is really annoying and difficult to do. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, so let's just dive right in then. Firstly, grab your piece of footage and make a composition from it. Okay, so I'm going to new comp from selection. And this just gives us a composition at the length and right frame rate and things like that. Now we need to remove uh, this background, but we're not actually technically removing it. All we're doing is making sure that it's pure white because the way this effect works is uh, if something is pure white, then the footage on top doesn't show. And if something is pure black, then it shows completely and variations thereof between those two colors. OK, so first thing you need to do is grab your second piece of footage and drop that on top and then just make sure that it's covering your entire frame. Luckily, mine are the right size and I'm just going to trim it down so we don't have any excess stuff to work with. OK, um, let's hide that for now. Go back to our first piece of footage and apply the effect called levels. Now I've got a shortcut so that I can just do it like so. But of course, if you just go to your effects and presets panel, you can also get the same thing. OK, now all we need to do, luckily with this footage, is push this sort of slightly pink background to be pure white. And to do that, I think if I just drop the input white a little bit, it will start to push that away. So let's drop the input white and let's maybe play with the output white to push it just a touch further. Now you want to do this quite subtly because otherwise you lose a lot of information. Don't worry too much that it's starting to get blown out a little bit because obviously you're going to be putting something on top of it again. So I'm going to leave it about 190, I think, for now. And then obviously we can come back and tweak this because it is live. So we've got pretty much white and that's what we want. All we need to do now is duplicate this first layer. And this is an optional step, this one. Uh, and again, apply a new effect to it, this time black and white. Uh, and then apply another effect to it called curves. And what we're going to do now is basically push this curve into an S shape. And that just accents the uh, whites and darkens the uh, dark areas, just into a slight S, just to increase the contrast a little bit. OK, and then we're going to change this from normal normal to overlay. And what this does is it just pushes that contrast up um, so that we get a greater contrast when we put our new footage on top of it. Like I said, this is optional. So what I'm going to do is name this base and I'm name this one black and white and we'll name this one footage. OK, let's make this footage here. Um, visible again and now obviously another way to do this that's less destructive is you can put all of these effects on an adjustment layer um, there's no reason why you can't but it doesn't really affect it for a composition this small and simple um, so go to your original piece of footage here and change this to screen and what this does is on screen anything that is purely white underneath is hidden and anything that is purely black is entirely visible now the thing to do next is to make sure that on your black and white layer, you don't actually have those levels applied. Um, just so you know, the only thing it's affecting is the curves. Um, and go back down to your base layer and tweak this until you get an effect that you're happy with. So maybe I'm feeling it's a bit washed out there. So I'm going to push that back in a bit. Maybe I'll bring this back down like so. Maybe on this black and white, we'll bring some of that back in. Maybe lighten it up a touch there so it's less of an extreme curve. And on our base layer, maybe just lose a touch of it like so. Maybe on this overlay, we'll drop its opacity down. 
So this is just now tweaking to your heart's content, really. Um, it really depends on what style you want. Of course, you could go and try other um, ones like screen or overlay if you want it to be much darker. And that's more of the like original effect that we had in the video. It does the same sort of thing. But you can see on overlay, you do you tend to get some of that stuff when it's not pure white? Whereas with something like screen, that's a lot more hidden. Okay. Again, if I go out here, you can see that you're starting to see some of that effect still. So we need to just tweak this, maybe decrease that a touch, like so. Again, a lot of tweaking involved here, but I'd say I'm pretty happy with that. But I don't like the fact that her bike, this bike is over her mouth um, because it doesn't sit right with me. Um, so what I'm gonna do with this footage is just scale it up a touch, try 150 and move the bike over to her hair so it's less distracting. Um, and let's just quickly pre-render that and see what it looks like. Okay, there we go, we have it. We have our double exposure video effect. Now obviously you can tweak this to your heart's content. Um, any and you know, all color balancing that you apply to the footage is live, so you can go back in and tweak it further if you wanted to. Uh, for the sake of illustration, this will do just fine. Obviously try it with different bits of footage, try it with different stuff. Uh, it's completely up to you. It's such a simple and easy thing to do with really good effects straight away. That's what I love about it. Um, so yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching everybody. I do hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, make sure to subscribe and comment and all that sort of jazz if not also comment let me know why you didn't like it and see if i can improve so thanks very much for watching everybody and i'll see you all next time remember to subscribe for more tips tricks and tutorials thanks for watching